Hello and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft. Yep. With the OP Heroes of Doom. <laughs> yep, we got all of the most OP heroes. Especially, um, so, Castar. Oh, is there a... Yeah, that's right, sorry. I, I forget which one was the... But yeah, he is the one who's the most OP. Yes, he is OP. Just times eight. <laughs> Uh, we even, we even proved it last time, if I remember right. Look, I mean, see? You can just go like, boop. Oh, wow. They like, just kind of walk past, like, dude. Like. <laughs> it's unfortunate they just walk past, but... He seems to be slaughtering them pretty good. And they're dead. Okay, so what is my plan? My plan is to good units. Makes sense. As OP as the heroes are, I'm guessing you can't take out entire bases with just those three. Boy, no. Well, so it would take too long. Yeah. Fair point. And I mean, it did give me a million in one minute. Was... <laughs> That's true. It'd be kind of still say, like, yeah, it gave me, like, the 2,000 minerals, but, uh, I got some heroes. Nah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw... Um... Tassadar and everyone at him until, you know, we win. Yep. Okay. You get your shit recharged. Get your stuff up. Sound of scuffs, get the shit recharged. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know that scuffs that got their shields recharged. Shit recharging is the most noobish thing ever. <laughs> is it now? Are you? Well, I'm the guessing it's something said, you so. don't. Well, I was gonna say I'm guessing it's not the kind of thing you exactly do via uh, multiplayer. Not mine. Maybe, maybe some people have used it. I've never, obviously, never used it. No, I've yeah. never seen it. I think the only time you would use it, maybe. They, I could imagine using it if you're actually playing on an offensive strategy. I think I might have right. seen it be used once when enemy put it in the enemy space. <laughs> and, then the, and then, like, my cottage units around and they kept beating yeah. him with that. <laughs> That's actually pretty legit. I kind of want to see that. But, um, I can't see for how on a normal basis, if you're not, like, you know, doing something ridiculous like that. On a normal basis, it does sound like it's more useful for the campaign where you have heroes with, you know, way more shielding than the average unit. Which is obviously the case in this mission. Oh, last time I checked. Yes, um, what do you want me to say? Of course. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, unless, unless you have some confirmation that no, the heroes aren't in this mission, and I'm, I'm just going completely crazy, you know. That's, that's what I'm saying. How would it take? What do you mean? You guys are right there, you fucking faggot. Oh my god. I blame you. <laughs> it was my fault. None of you saw anything. It didn't this happen. Is, oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh no. Zero tool. Don't die. Actually, need his shield. They had a lot of his shield. They didn't get through his shield. Yeah, let's go home. Let's use Zero tool. Let's go home, home huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did zero tools for I'm like I did not stab her, I did not. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's official, there to a secretly Johnny was so. <laughs> explain to you so fee. Zero tools probably Johnny was so in the second game. I imagine he like stabs the the one bitch the you know, blade the queen of the blades. Yes. And then, and then he's, and then, you know, uh, freaking the main, the main character shows up, uh, whatever his name is. I don't know, I can't remember right Mr. now. Mr. Faggot. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Faggot. And, you know, <laughs> and, you know, Zero Tool is just like, I did not stab her, I did not. And then he made a terrible movie. <laughs> yep, exactly. It's basically maybe, what Starcraft maybe, maybe, 2 is. Maybe Johnny himself was the guy who wrote the story for Starcraft 2. Yeah, that makes sense. But sadly enough, I for some reason feel like Johnny was so would have. Well, I wouldn't say he'd write a better story. But... He would have been a more hilarious one. Yeah, indeed. It would have. It would have been a um, more 
Yeah, it would be pretty, pretty dang funny. It'd be... <laughs> yeah, it'd probably still be insulting, but actually, that kind of makes me wonder what would have happened if, like, I don't know. Jaroso did get a, get a hold of some big copy like that. Like, well, isn't he if Johnny Polar? was, huh? That's over Polar. Oh yeah, it's a fair point. Maybe I should. We already have that. Yeah, we already have that, and it's certainly pretty bad. Uh. I love over Polar. <laughs> okay, I was like, does anyone love over Polar? Over Polar, that's over Polar. Well, I think that's been made pretty clear. I'm pretty sure it's the whole point of his existence. <laughs> so his existence. Um, the point of his existence is so that someone likes overboard. <laughs> which is him. That's that that makes sense, I think. Yes. That sounds suspend about right. Suspend your disbelief. <laughs> I I guess I will suspend my disbelief. And destroy the tower. Wow, oh, what a bunch of dicks. But I'm gonna destroy their face. <laughs> Sounds good. I I suppose that is what you do when you have like over a dozen dragoons. And one of those ball shooters. Yep. Aw oh, man. Ball shooters are pretty intense. I like how they gave me one at the beginning of the campaign and now they're giving me one again finally toward the end of the campaign. <laughs> yeah. That is that is interesting. I don't know why. Like now I can shoot two of them. I guess I just wanted to be like, hey, these guys that raped you when you played the Zerg, you will have them, but not yet. <laughs> uh, you will have them, but you know, you got, you gotta be patient. Yep. Gotta. Yeah, supporters have no invisible units. Because yeah. I only have the fucking. The only invisible units they have are the Dark Templars, and the, these guys don't use Dark Templars, obviously. Right. I'd be kind of surprised if they did. It'd be weird if they were, I, I feel like it's suck if two they would do that. Like, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. These guys are like, seriously opposed to Dark Templars, but like, that's a unit they normally use, so whatever. It's fine. Can I keep the view them? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Too lazy. Uh, too lazy. Uh, too, la too lazy. 10 out of 10 idea. Too late to write this review. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> imagine imagine you were reading something like on a review site or something and they're like reviewing I don't know. They they were reviewing Star Trek 2. They were reviewing like, I don't know, an XCOM game. They were like too lazy to write this review with an out of ten. I thought that was XCOM Enemy Unknown. <laughs> That's everyone's review of XCOM Enemy Unknown. There's actually they didn't actually give good scores, so we just too lazy to write it. Yep. So, okay. we have killing things with the goons. Yep, which is always cool. Remember, kids, killing things with dragoons is cool, and you should do it more. Cancel up. That's the fair's money. <laughs> you stop killing things with the goons. So I say yep. it <laughs> Uh, that's, yeah, that's actually a pretty great plan, I think. I'm sure no one will complain. Yeah. It's just extortion. Uh, it's just extortion. I mean, we have Phoenix Wright. We can't, we can't lose. Yes. Phoenix Wright the Protoss. Protoss why? Yep. Still, it'll still be... It's, be such Fuck, a they can't Phoenix. Oh man! Wait, that's vetting. <laughs> they can't lose, right? He's dead. <laughs> I guess Phoenix well, decided to go up to the enemies and be like, "Oh, I got evidence." <laughs> oh, he did. That's that's what he does every game. Fuck, I didn't even say. Uh, God damn it. God damn it. We should have said Phoenix though. Yes, he's this a goon, but he's not allowed to die. Uh, see, we need this. Is why we gotta bring along Gumshoe to crack the penis. Yes. I'm guessing Gumshoe in this case is um Zeratul. Yeah. Who is yeah. <laughs> Tessa though? At first. Um. Yeah. Probably. 
Oh, I think. Oh, the logic sounds like Phoenix <laughs> circled wide. <laughs> yeah. See, see, guys, I just made a better StarCraft 2. You really like hitting on that game. Oh, I, I thought you really liked hitting on that game. Yeah. I thought I would share the love. Dude, the love of hate? Yeah. I guess that's what the, my little funny is all about. The magic of hatred. Oh <laughs> uh, man, that'd be that'd be interesting. That should be like season. I don't know. That should season be. Zero. That should be. Yeah, season zero. <laughs> that'd be pretty great if that was season zero. Uh, magic of hate, and then they play like death games with things they hate. Yes. I also love how the balls can like actually get stuck. Units. Yeah, so. see, it's a it's a micro management heavy unit. For yeah. Both sides technically, so we had to get rid of it. And yeah, because it's too complicated for people. Because so it's too fun to use. Yeah. It's... Fun is not allowed in circle two. Exactly. Fun is not MAG. Ah, <laughs> oh, indeed. They they heard the SpongeBob fun song and they still haven't had fun. But they destroyed the SpongeBob fun song. <laughs> Damn, that's just sad. That's that's Activision. That's, is that Activision? Are they the ones who made the uh, StarCraft? Yes. Okay. I was like, I'm not sure. Because I always, I always hear Activision, and I think of, uh, you know, the really old the Activision stuff. Activision also owns Spyro. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's kind of died too. In fact, that's, I, I mean, like, I haven't really been paying any attention to their current projects, except for the fact that they're doing Skylanders, which isn't even really a Spyro game. But um, it's, 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 it, it is Spyro, it's not Spyro. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they, they they are kind of doing their best to kill Spyro for some reason. But I guess they, they really do hate. At, at least they, at least it's because Spyro is a good game, not a bad one. Yeah. Sakurai isn't even that bad. <laughs> I it's, think it's, it's good <laughs> Yeah, it's not that bad. It's just um, you know. It's just well, not that good. it's just not that good, especially the story. Story is pretty much the worst part. Yes. And they don't have to do it. I mean, I just can't let that go. Look at these guys. These are the most fun units <laughs> in the game ever. Yeah, I I am surprised. I mean, they seem like a uh, good unit to show off. Like, oh man, guys, look at how cool we can do stuff with the technology. Look at how cool these guys look in three D. I want <laughs> getting murdered. Uh, jeez. Well, we are having that unfortunate thing happen. Let's, let's go home. Indeed, let's go home. We mean, there's giant bugs in spading our home anyways. Wow. Is there I like the slight really? delay it has. <laughs> because he's like, whoop. And then like, half a second later, like, whoop. <laughs> that is pretty rad. It is. It does bring back the, you know, like the um, samurai type movies where, you know, he cuts the dude and like a second later, you know, he dies. Yes. Yeah. So a second later, die. his face falls off, and you're like, oh, so that's who won. Even though you kind of already probably guessed, considering that you know. It was probably the main character in one. Not the main character? Oh, it was. <laughs> Clearly. That's why they made like 30 Zapoichi movies. Because he always loses, so he has to try again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's just, they're just running into my base as boy shooters. Wow, they are. What's, what's up with this bullshit? I'm asked for this. I'm pretty sure it's official that I, I didn't ask for this. I think I asked for like an extra hour in the ball pit, not this. God damn it. And not gonna go there.
<laughs> why not? Because I don't wanna. Alright, fine. This is my let's play. <laughs> this is your let's play and you're gonna eat it? Yes. It tastes like pie. It has pie, pie flavor. Ah, oh, Sora's gonna love it. I think so. Star Starcraft, Starcraft Let's Play. <laughs> it's, it's, um, yeah. It's, uh, jeez, I can't even think of words right Starcraft now. Starcraft Let's Play, we even can't find a show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, in fact, it's really weird. I'm pretty sure last night I had a dream about me losing a joke. But it's not. <laughs> I don't know why. It was it was a rather odd dream, and you know, it's 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 an odd dream about something that I guess happens normally enough, which is why it's an odd dream. I don't know why during the dream it was it was it was quite so horrifying, but it was. It was pretty bad. You done? I was devastated. Um, before you're gonna get a goon's kid again. Yeah. Plan. I mean, I think I was going to claim that we were sponsored by Sorn. But we are not. Sorn. Sorn is a pony. <laughs> but imagine if we were sponsored by Sorn, that'd be pretty Would cool. we get other pies or would we get none other pies? I'm not sure. I think we might have to pay Sorn in po Wait, no, but he's our sponsor. So I don't know. <laughs> we might we might get all of the pies, but then Soren would like eat all of those. So maybe we'd just get all the fishes, which would still be pretty cool, I guess. What is a fish? I mean, it's, yeah. it's the best one the ship deal ever. <laughs> I know. Uh, I would I would take that sponsorship deal. Just like just like hey, do you do you want? Do you want like you know, third thirty five thousand dollars one third? Do you want all the bitches? I'd be like, hmm. I have to think about this actually. You don't. I don't because I want all the bitches. <laughs> best, so best marketing strategy ever. It, it, it's a pretty good marketing strategy. I mean, you know, I I honestly should make I I honestly should put that on a sign in on the back of some box. I don't know what box, but like you know, if I'm if I ever form a game company, that that'll be like our you know saying is we'll work for bitches. Okay. I'm. Organization has gotten weird. I'm going to be. <laughs> What? You're you're claiming that you wouldn't work for a game company that slogan was will work for bitches? Sure, but I, I guess wouldn't wouldn't mm. you have to pay them bitches? Because they work for bitches, not you work for bitches. Hmm. <laughs> so that's a good point. Um well, but then you'd be an employee, so you know, you'd be employed via the bitches I'm not actually sure. I'd have to, you know, I'd have to do yeah, some You have to check your contract. I have to check, yes, exactly. I have to check my contract. It took fucking years to finally get through this shit. It just keeps spawning more units, it's getting ridiculous. Yeah. Isn't it like with the AI dice though? You're yes. like, I don't know what to do, I'm gonna spawn more units. I'm gonna stop him. <laughs> but. With Phoenix Wright and Zero Tool. Being an epic duo, just like Edgeworth. You already have 20 kids. Yeah, wow. See, he is Edgeworth. That's very Edgeworthy. Kidding a lot of people? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that part of Phoenix Wright? Yes, totally. Yeah, I know. That like... one case where he killed someone. Yeah. Except not really, but you know, he oh, probably yeah. totally did actually. And Phoenix Wright was just like, yeah, but, but Edgeworth is my buddy. It sounds so like Edgeworth. I mean, it sounds so like Edgeworth and Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna rape that. 
Oh yeah, fuck me. Oh jeez. Yeah, they both of them. They you should probably stop, stop that. <laughs> what a bunch of douchebags. Can you guys stop attacking me? I'm feeling. Ah, I do indeed have feelings. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. So it would appear that we need additional pylons. More like additional tubes. Yeah. I I suppose that is a more fair job. It looks like um <laughs> it looks like according to our total available possible troops count, uh we have more than enough pylons. Bringing more fucking guys. Yeah. Douchebag. I know. That is a fair point. Like, these guys are spawning uh, a lot of units. You failed to achieve victory. Oh, wait. I didn't see who died. I'm yeah, guessing cool. someone died, though. Okay, so it's cool. I just saw you fail to achieve victory. I'm like, I'm oh, on a timer now? Jeez. I'll achieve victory when I want to. But I, but I guess, you know, just Aaron will die. Right. I'm guessing that would mess with the with the story just a little bit. Yeah. That's who I ain't important. We're just gonna replace him with a random zealot. Indeed. Uh, that, would, that would be kind of weird if, like, that was their system for the main characters. It's like, oh man, Kerrigan died? I guess we're gonna need to get a new Kerrigan. Jesus Christ, motherfuckers! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, it's like they're- I swear they're multiplying. Leave me alone! I did not hit anyone! <laughs> they just explode on their own, I promise. Yeah, seriously. I'm not doing anything suspicious. We've just been hanging out being some cool dudes. We're just there to give them hugs. Yeah, I exactly. dad dying for no reason. Yep, I didn't know they were dead yeah. uh, dirty to hugs. Yeah, for some reason hugs seem very unprotoss like to me, but I don't know. You don't just you just don't understand, boy. <laughs> I don't understand the, the protos. Yes. That's unfortunate. Yeah, secretly we be huggy. <laughs> Love yeah, hugs. well, I guess they have to make new proto somehow. By hugs, yes. Yes, exactly. What else they produce by hugs? It's kind of. <laughs> yep, it's it sure is it sure is canon. See, this is why they should get us to write everything. We should probably also make the new Star Wars piece. Stay far, be better than ever, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we can make the better video game movies and better Star Wars movies than Ooh and Ball. Yes, in fact I wish I give the new, I hope they give the new Star Wars movies to Ooh Boy, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> you know what, I'd rather have Ooh Boy do the new movie than fucking the other guy. <laughs> the Transformer douchebag. Yeah, Because even Ooh Boy does it, it'd probably be funnier. Uh yeah. I, um, yeah, I, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like Michael's Bay movies are you know, really that funny. Freaking Blood Rain, though. Those, those red hoses. I mean, you just hate when you wake up in the morning and you're like, man, I think I got a red hose, like, inside of me. Jeez, that actually sounds really weird. Don't, don't, don't take that. Don't, don't think about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they're coming for me. Oh, this is this is too intense. I don't think I can handle all this. Run Tassadar, don't get me. Damn, he's someone actually dodged it plus four. And then he got hit by another one and died. <laughs> Tassadar, why? Why do you do this to us? It's like, it's like, it's like, I don't know. 
It's like one of those, um, freaking yeah, drama, over dramatic guys. drama shows, huh? That's okay, well, that's not me. You that one, please. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like one of those, like, Spanish drama shows, and, like, you know, they're like, oh man, she's not really dead. And then just out of nowhere, you know, her twin sister stops. It's like, no! Wait, wait, Spanish? Yeah, the Spanish ones. Never saw them. Never heard of them. Oh. I don't know what you try, but... okay, that's fine. They're pretty lame, anyways. They probably sad about you, too. I'll show you just <laughs> doing someone's push up. Probably so. Well, you know, to be fair, I mean. That is so dead. She's probably pretty dead. Oh. But I mean. Whoa. Don't question what it. up? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I would question it. But, I mean, to be fair, I don't really watch such shows myself. But I don't, I don't know if there's a culture thing. Recently, uh, my step whatever has been watching like Desperate Housewives, and I'm like, this is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But why is it Spanish? It's not Spanish. I was, I was, it's usually Spanish shows are like that, so that's why I was making fun of it. Desperate Housewives is like English, I guess. I don't know. It's American, because only American it's, it's, people it's do bad pretty... things. Huh? Only American people do bad things. I test to be American. <laughs> yeah, because clearly Uwe Boll is American. He's probably American. He, that's, he is what happens when you mix German with American. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I'm, are you what happens when you mix German with American? No. I, I'm what happens when you mix German with God. <laughs> I, I think that statement is a little inaccurate. Hmm. What do you I, think? <laughs> that is what I think. I think we would have to do some examination of this on a deeper level. God damn it. This game is pissing me uh, off. <laughs> it is kind of being a dick. Can you just all leave me alone, motherfuckers? Uh, yeah, it's like... Uh. Breaking spaceships out of nowhere. I can't get through there because I'm a faggot booting to that bird. <laughs> that sounds unfortunate. I hate when I can't get through the faggot buildings that I built. Kill them, you fucking noobs. <laughs> uh, this is pretty unfortunate. I forgot how scary this thing always looks. I can't hit him, because I can't see him. This is the most lame thing I've ever not seen. Yeah. And then Tesla. God damn it! Leave me alone! Damn it, Tesla. Uh... Leave Tesla alone! I'm <laughs> saying it's even more lame than Blood Rain. Yes. Movie. Yeah. Because, I mean, officers. I assume, like me, I haven't seen it before. Nope. I actually haven't seen any of Bull's movies in person. I'm pretty proud of that fact. It's well, because you don't watch many movies. Yeah, well, not really, really many. Like, you know, Arsh Questicles. There's that. It doesn't count. <laughs> Does it count as a movie? Or, do, well, I guess it doesn't count as a lot of movies. Yeah. I'm not that hard. <laughs> what? I, I, don't I don't know. know. Okay. I was like, I'm not sure what point I was a lot of hard. You voice? Yeah. Well, I need voice, sir. I was very Applejack about it. I didn't like her. <laughs> yeah, I know. You like Applejack, so I don't, I don't know what the problem is with Waterheart. Hey, since when did you like Applejack? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I thought... How do they even fucking get it? He's fucking douchebag. Yeah, I don't know. Can you just leave know. me alone? Like, I'm running from one side of the void to the other side of the void. Getting murdered. Getting raped. This is devastating. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty devastating. Jeez, I, th I speaking of movies, they could 
we can make a movie about that. We've been getting murdered and raped. I'm not trying to show my VD1 then, man. <laughs> That's a fair point. I was like, you know, the journey of someone running from one side of the world to the other, getting like, you know, all the tragedies. Uh. Hey, finally, you went back. I said, figure out a way to get over here. <laughs> I mean, isn't isn't that basically like why is the being being raped? Isn't that basically what your um, fan fiction's about? I guess. For those that have not have read it, and those that have read it, I guess. <laughs> Damn it! Can I regroup? Can you guys just all leave me alone? What, what are we shooting? Why would you? This. Why? What? <laughs> the building your base, I think. Is it, wait, I'm they... It's my building. Is your building? Oh, Why I are you th shooting at it? Because I, because th it has that red tint. I thought, but I'm not sure. No, I don't know. Maybe he thought it was an enemy. Maybe he got confused. Dude. Maybe so. What a. Thank you, and I. <laughs> well, you know, I usually have the ability to not shoot at my own buildings. Um, I was gonna say, I usually, I, I, I hope you would say how like, I usually have the way to shoot my own allies. <laughs> and I would probably point to a left for dead. <laughs> everyone, everyone has the occasional smile must have been. That's what they always say after shooting my Lego. <laughs> oh, what, I've, I've saved you plenty of times too, probably. Yeah, you've played it and often enough to have saved me plenty of times. Oh yeah, I may not play, but when I have played it, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been good times. Don't, don't try to pretend that I wasn't the best ally since, like, C-3PO. But C-3PO is, like, the best ally ever. If you ever seen really? him play Left 4 Dead, he's a <laughs> genius. He probably is. He is a robot. imagine that being in Star Wars. It's <laughs> like, hey, God uses this message. Luke, you're my, you're my only hope. I'm in an MG tournament. Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> dropped out. I need you to take over. <laughs> Man, I want to see that version of Star Wars. <laughs> oh. And then Luke Skywalker and that and his sister go and become MG pros. Yep. It's canon. It's canon. It's it's probably better than whatever the newest Star Wars movies gonna be. They just so. killed like half of my fucking people. Why are these boy shooters always so terrifying anyway? I don't know. They they seem to be pretty OP, especially in the hands of the computer AI. Yeah, because there's just so many of them. And it's like, right. You just have to like one at it and hope that it doesn't kill you guys before you kill them. Yeah, which isn't the sexiest thing to be able to do. Like, here's another one! <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, I mean, for us, those are really freaking expensive to build. I know. I only have, like, I only had, like, one. I don't even, even build them. Yeah. Even, but, in, uh, even in wood pair, they're not very common. Right. Once you say, you spoil the last one, because I think they're too expensive for anything else. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That, that's mainly why I assume they're not used a lot, because, yeah. If, um. Yeah, if, if you use them for assault, there's a pretty good chance to get blown up, but obviously they're a big investment, so if they get blown up, it's like, well, maybe I should have spent that money on, like, six uh, units instead. Yeah. But uh, at least we have finally achieved something. Yeah, looks Let's like it. those walkers. Let's go kill walkers. Indeed. It is a shame that the Star Wars opening universe thing is a really thing anymore, because, you know what? If we if we wrote a story about Luke and Leia entering the tournament, we could te technically made a canon. They like if we made a canon. There's there's like an open universe thing they used to have, right? Um. Well, I mean, it'll, I don't exactly know, know how the Star Wars universe works. Oh. A lot of people have written a lot of things for it. Yeah. I mean, you still need to follow general guidelines. I'm pretty sure there's no MG <laughs> universe and uh, you know, MG inside Star Wars. <laughs> Fair point. Um, yeah. 
I guess I guess I can see why. Yeah, uh, really, I, I, there's dumber, there are dumber things that I can. And, oops, just told them to kill on guy. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> she actually did. Dude, that guy should, like boop. <laughs> Look at yeah. that guy. He owed me money anyway. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need that fucking. Yeah, I was gonna say him. Yeah. There are dumber things can in the Star Wars universe, so you know. Yeah, makes sense. So you're basically saying that me be writing a story for it wouldn't be that much of a step down. Uh, I was gonna go that far. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, jerk. And I wanted, and I wanted to write the, exactly. I wanted to write the best, like, the worst fan fiction about Star Wars. It wasn't really a fan fiction. I believe that requires a certain amount of experience, though. Yeah. What? So you're saying that the, the writing up to a college level isn't enough experience in writing? Right, that doesn't mean you have written stories up to college level. You haven't no. written. That is. Not really. so I, I've written what I have. University had papers don't writing. count. I'd say that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's it's kind of funny how much easier and how much it feels like how much less creative you really have to do when it comes to writing like you know papers for school. Is it so much more like you know about like hmm right what do, what do I think like will be okay? I don't know what you're saying, but I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> We got my dragoon guy. Wow. We need to tell us when everyone's gonna build a goon so that they can stop people from invading my land. Yeah. <laughs> I I think I think they won't really be able to get past this. But but the question is, can you do dragoons lick? And do they taste like raisins? Well, dragoons are taste like raisins, it's part of the construction manual. <laughs> and it it go and it has to have at least a decent amount of ways in flavor. <laughs> oh man. I wanna I wanna read that. Is rainbow yeah, flavor. Yeah. Sounds like a pretty epic the user manual thing. I remember back in the days when you were allowed to write like those kind of user manuals for um my little f of a, um, um, film fiction used to be allowed to write those, but then they'd ban them. Now you're only allowed to post things that are actually considered the stories. Oh. Um, because okay. they did a lot of the. I don't even know why. They did a lot of the. For why it wasn't just anything. Yeah. The people wrote the comedic user manuals things. For like all I the see different see. ponies. So why'd they, uh, ban it? Uh, that sounds I like some fiction, but they have a bad habit of banning things. I'm not sure why. They just ban them with random things. Yeah. But that's that's that is unfortunate. That's, that's like I'm same. pretty sure you're not allowed to like you for example you're not allowed to post inside joke stories. If it if it has to be a joke story, it has to be a joke story that like people can ever get. Like, you know, it can't be like an inside joke. Just, just like a very small group of people would get. Oh, uh, that's that's interesting. But I don't know how they would actually please that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like that sounds hard to please. Like even if you post an inside joke story, why do they really hate my worker people? Jeez, they do. Why are they racist against workers? I mean, I know that's like the pro thing to do is be racist against workers, but they don't. They don't gonna be racist against workers. Maybe they're just. They're, they're communists. I mean, no, they um, they are the other guys. Fuck! I don't even know where you are. <laughs> Jeez! Wow, that was unfortunate. That that escalated quickly. I, know I didn't know where he was either. Just, like, no, in no. hindsight, I don't know where I put him, but damn, dudes! Uh, oh, God, you guys so go over sure. there and support him. And what the hell? He was just derp me out. <laughs> That's why I love these guys. <laughs> because they derp a lot? Yes, they are so <laughs> derp a lot. <laughs> I thought you just like derpy though. Mm, not when it's the goons. Oh, At least they don't look in my eyes like fucking derpy. 
Oh man, someone should make someone should make uh, derpy Dragu. Yep. Yes. Yes. I I watch it. Reading what I play it maybe maybe. Can you guys just like, come on? Who is not showing up to wait me today? <laughs> well, the um those but the Terrans aren't. Yeah, the tans aren't here. Yeah. Which, which is actually where is Reno? I think it's Reno just like, you know, it would probably just die, so I might not do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. Where is Reno? I guess, I guess, like you said, I was like, I'm probably just die. I don't, I don't think I'd be Luis. No, what you guys can attack. Hopefully not. I'll get mad. I'm too, I'm too busy telling Lisa how she tears me apart. Wait, Reno is a... Man, Johnny was so. I don't know. Cause Johnny was so in the second game. So, oh, I'm doing it. Didn't have. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think that's really weird on the recording. Huh? That was the last look really weird in the recording. Yeah, I actually need. To, I I have. I keep forgetting to check back on it and see what it does when there's like that second group. Damn, look at this, it's just a wall of death. Yeah. yeah. It's not an official wall of death because these guys are not that good. Yeah, I was gonna, I, at first it was like, man, it seems pretty powerful, and then yeah, you're kind of just eating it with jackets. The thing is, I think, like, one of them beats a Dragoon 101, but only, like, they have decent high damage, but if they, they die, it's really quickly, if that makes right. any sense. That makes sense. So, so when you have more dragoons and towers, like they become, they become continue, they become increasingly less efficient the more dragoons you have. Right. Makes sense. Oh, I, I I was I was going to say something. Now I'm slightly worried, jinx it, but whatever. I'll say it anyways. At least it was in the wall of those bug guys. I really hope that doesn't happen. I think they already killed all the bug guys by sending them and me into like my fucking face all the time. Like, this base was a lot easier to destroy. And look at yeah. these fucking transporters, which I'm all gonna blow up. <laughs> Take wow, yeah. They didn't know transporters in so much of a chance. This is one of the bug guy buildings which I'm gonna destroy. The good thing is That's like the more bases you destroy the less they can build units, so it kinda becomes easier the further you go. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's it's certainly a rolling stone because like now that we already have one base gone, we're attacking a second base. We don't have to worry very much about getting like flanked or getting our main base attacked. Yes. But obviously, when there's like two or three bases and you're attacking one of three bases, so you know the other two have a chance to. Wait, don't give up the fight and you surrender yourself. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learned to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Valdaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar. And above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld. To the end. 
You guys are really melodramatic. <laughs> I was gonna say, jeez. Speaking of drama things, that's some, that's some pretty, like... I was gonna say, free shares and photos have more speech over oil than Dodge Terrence in, like, the game. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, at least of the, um, first, I'm probably later on, but at least of the, um, first, first campaigns especially, like, yeah. I, like, the Terrans, I don't remember having any big, you know, dramatic scenes, they were just the action hero campaign, the, the, but Jesus, the Protos, yeah, they have their big, like, you know, paragraph speeches about, yes, like, which um, I'm, I'm not know, entirely I'm, sure his plan was, because he's like, I can't watch you kill my fellow Protos anymore, I'm gonna surrender to them, even though I don't believe they are doing good, don't give up the fight, goodbye. <laughs> What do you want me to do? <laughs> I know, seriously, it's not exactly like you giving up is going to stop us from, like, fighting Killing the them? Unless you mean, but then you told us not to stop killing them. I'm I confused. I think so, too. I hope I... to put us homeward? I... Oh, no, more cutscenes. No voice acting. Okay, no voice acting. Yes, but a cool cutscene nonetheless. Yeah, <laughs> all the cutscenes so far have been pretty cool, even when they make no sense. Which this is one actually makes sense. Oh, oh, kind of. Oh, I see. It's yeah, the spaceships, and there's like the small little things of yes. doom. Well, I'm assuming crazy. once again. Tastar was taken into Judicar custody and sentenced to stand trial for his crimes against the Conclave. Phoenix Rainer and Tastar's followers escaped from the Conclave's agents as the Dark Templars slipped away in the chaos. Mostly what didn't make sense is why this cutscene played now than what I'm before, because I showed up at the planet last mission. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. I'm not sure. It's not like they're just showing up. Vader's like the most badass guy ever in this fucking game. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I'm surrounded by aliens. Everyone wants to kill me? Well, I might as well do something with my life. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty cool. Uh, also, jeez, oh, the blind from there is some little rapey. You shall. <laughs> you shall. It's like, hmm, bad touch. <laughs> bad touch, okay. Well, we will end the part here. Thank you all for watching. And we will see, see you, you guys all next time. time.